some good news. Thanks. Center uh, 223 Mike Alpha, 220 for 280. Center 223 Mike Alpha, Fort Center Roger. And if people are complaining about the rides and the climb, you could give them a mostly smooth or something at the tail end of your call just to. Yeah, they're talking about the guys that were up in the yeah. upper 30s, 40s there. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so that wouldn't be today, but like yesterday, um, everybody was complaining. This is Dick Rochford, and uh, we're aboard uh, M600 223 Mike Alpha, the latest iteration of the Piper Meridian. We're in the climb, as you can tell, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the tasks associated with a long flight at high altitude. Uh, people new to high altitudes sometimes uh, get a little pokey and don't get all the tasks done. But truth is, you know, with the G3000, it's, it's really a whole lot easier uh, with this system. So uh, here's a few ideas uh, north, just to uh, put things uh, in perspective. Anything to the north, like the area you're about to go During right the climb, now, as you get assigned a flight level, consider switching um, your barometer to standard barrow. And uh, I know most pilots say, well, you know, you're not in the flight levels yet, and so you should be changing the barrow. Well, yes and no. So first, let's understand what the controller is seeing when you accept the clearance to a flight level, so in this case 280. And if you're climbing through the teens, the low teens, 16, 17, whatever, which of course here in the U.S. is not a flight level, uh, your, your altimeter is being displayed through your transponder as an absolute altitude. In other words, the controller only sees you passing through the altitude as if you had standard barrow dialed in. That's what they see. So when you set standard barrow, you're not changing what the controller sees. So it's it's that's not why you're doing it. But the reason you should be switching to standard, particularly if you're a single pilot, is because it's one task. You've accepted a climb to flight level 280, and if you don't set the barrow, you haven't programmed the computer, the autopilot, the airplane, to level off at the correct altitude. And in some cases, the difference could be significant. So I encourage you always to set standard barrow. The minute, the instant that you dial in a flight level into the autopilot. This way, the task is completed. And three, four, five minutes later, when you get in, into the flight levels, you're uh, you're all set. You you don't have to remember to do something that was part of a task uh, that was required when you accepted the clearance three minutes ago. And if you get busy, you could forget to set the barrow, and then now you're potentially unsafe. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train often.